Yeah, I can't seem to find my hat anywhere. Blue kill! My hat! You look good in it though. That cow, oh my gosh, my hair. I need that hat back, Gil. Everybody, it's your host of Moonburger Dairy, and we are milk cows this morning. See Ashley walking up there; she's probably laughing at me right now. That's all right. But we're gonna be drying up four cows, and one of those cows is none other than Red Ruby, Ashley's favorite cow. She has twins again in the same horn. Three times she's had that now. Sadly, she lost her first ones and then she had her second ones. So hopefully this time she'll have her third ones too. So we'll see. Then we gotta go get some hay later. But we're milking right now. So that's what's first on the agenda every day. Milking, feeding, scraping. We'll see you out there. All right, we got the last cows in milking. Then we're gonna wash down and then Red Ruby's the last one here that needs to be dried up. So yeah, then we'll be washing, taking them down there. All right, time for shut down. Ashley's drying up Red Ruby right now. Then we're gonna sort her out and wash up. Then we'll be uh, taking them down when we're done doing that. Milk the wash. Oh man, Red Ruby. Don't make a move on me. Red Ruby. There she goes. We'll load her up on the trailer.
All right, we're moving these white ones over here with the dry cows. Sorry, it's a muddy mess out here. All the snow melted. It was 50 yesterday. Okay, I got them in the dry cows and Red Ruby's getting the nice treatment and gets the calving shed. Ugh. Sorry, Star. All right, look who came to see Dad at work. Little Eden. And there's Mom. <laughs> She's a little fussy. She likes car rides and the car's not moving. But they're gonna go see Gigi today. So, see you later, Eden. Love you. Love you. <laughs> you weren't ready for it. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, bye. All right, we're here getting a nice load of hay. I'm not gonna really show too much of him loading here. I'll show us unloading at home, but just so you can see, we're getting some hay here. So we just got back with that hay, got it unloaded. Um, we're gonna unhook this trailer. Grandpa's gonna go get feed in town with the truck. So they just put the pallet in the back. So don't really need the trailer. So we're unhooking it. Way too muddy to haul today. So tractor's going in the shed after the scraping. I'm just gonna probably go pile the lots up. So when it does freeze a little bit, then we can uh, get to it. Pushing this all up into a pile for now. Hopefully it'll freeze the ground soon. And get some loads hauled out. All right, well I'm moving this pile over next to our heifer lot where we have another pile just so it's not sitting in the dry cow lot. There's, there's plenty of room over here, so that's where I'm taking it over to. Anyone wanna go for a swim? Nice uh, pond in quotes. Nope, I didn't think so. All right, well, we're adding, adding to the pile. Got this lot pretty clean here. I'm gonna go over there and do that um, calving shed side next here. All right, got this heifer lot cleaned. This pile behind me is freaking huge. You can't really see it, sorry. But uh, there's still a couple spots that are a little froze to the concrete that I can't get, but oh well. So we're gonna go wash this window off or the door and we're gonna call it a day and tilt chores, which is in a little bit here, so. We'll be uh, going home, take my dogs out, and be back for sure.
silage down there for the drag house as well. So one scoop of corn silage will do. They get hay, so one scoop should be good enough. Alright, sorry you guys didn't see any of that. Alright, heading down to the drag house now. up everybody so um i don't know if we're gonna start selling these maybe someday in the future but we are making lunenberger dairy shirts i can maybe go show you one here that we've made but we're making a red johnny what a beast shirt sadly we're gonna be selling him tomorrow with our other bowl royal red so we're making these red johnny what a beast shirts because that's what i always say whenever i see him in a video so i'll show you a little bit of the process on how my wife makes these shirts so here you go. So she comes up with a design, gets it all nice and cut out for us here. And then this thing called a cricket, put it on here, and then it cuts out the design on here. Then you peel it, and then we'll press it onto a shirt with a heat press. So this thing gets working here. Try to see what it does. So it just gets the design from the iPad over there, and then it starts cutting all right guys so we got red johnny on the right royal red on the left today we are selling them a lot of you guys know if you watch the videos i always say red johnny what a beast and it's gonna be one of the last times i ever get to say that so, see you later, Red Johnny. We will miss you. Hey, Red Johnny. Gonna miss you, buddy. You're a good bull. <laughs> Whoa! We're all around you too, I guess. But we love Red Johnny the most. All right, guys, we're just leaving the farm with the two bulls. I didn't record us putting them on the trailer. Royal Red went on good, but Red Johnny did not not want to leave. Poor guy. We're going to miss him. He was a great bull, but he's just getting too big, and we're really worried he's going to start like hurting cows by hopping on them. So we're just going to sell them now while we can. All right, guys. So we'll see you at the sale barn. All right. Heading out. Just drop the boys off. We'll miss you, Red Johnny. <laughs> 